Okay, so this is just for looks here. <clears throat> you just take that one switch, that's like turning the switch, which does not work. There you go, that's an Allen wrench. The old Allen wrench at lightus trick to shut it off. And of course the key is still on now, so you just one click, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's one click. Or no, it's one click back, I think, is how it works. I'm not sure exact details on that. If you're trying to fix your ignition with an Allen wrench, I'm not sure, but you'll figure it out. Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. Driving one of my brother's hot rods right now. Pick up like this. There's a couple things you gotta think about. One is uh, keep her local. You want to keep this pickup fairly local. Um, if you advertise a pickup like this, you would say something like it was broke in on a ranch or it's a good work pickup. Take it home and work on it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, when you ask somebody, if somebody asks you what a pickup like this is worth, you would make the mention of saying something to the extent of, well, how much gas is in the tank? Those are some very key ways of looking at um, uh, uh, a good ranched out pickup. I ranched out, I mean, it's a local pickup. You wanna drive it local, which means no exhaust, um, no ignition. Uh, that This doesn't mean anything, that's just for looks. This is your ignition. Um, um, let's hear what else is the, 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 the bells and whistles about this rig. Oh, yeah, the back tire Let's hear has three lug nuts on it Total or is it total? Maybe three are missing. I don't even know um, Yeah, there's a lot of little bells and whistles about this the nice thing is, is it's fairly theft proof unless you grew up on a ranch then you would have a pretty good solid understanding of how to drive a pickup like this um, the the little minor things that the pickup came with factory that um, just really weigh a pickup down such as brakes when you have a stick shift you don't really need brakes um, or so my brother said uh, this pickup I think was rattle can with three different colors of paint once upon a time this pickup is fairly it's ranchy, it's ranchy. But that's part of the reason that makes ranching fun, is you're making things work. Now, once a person has been ranching for some time, you'll start to see nicer equipment, and that's okay. Dave Ramsey says, if you live like no one else now, you'll probably live like no one else later. True, true story. Average millionaire, of course, the millionaire, the book, The Millionaire Next Door, friends of ours from Minot. Uh, the book Millionaire Next Door simply says this, that uh, the average millionaire drives pickups that most people, or pickups and cars that most people wouldn't drive. Because that's what a millionaire looks like. Now you get the occasional wino or drunk or whatnot that, that yes, does, you know, drive a, a jalopy. But for the most part, Dave Ramsey, he's right. If you live like no one else now, you'll live like no one else later. See, you drive a pickup like this, and I'm not sure what my brother paid for this, honestly. I'm guessing not a whole lot, but he's gotten two summers out of it so far. It's a three-quarter ton old Ford pickup. I don't even know what year this would be. I would guess it's a 94-ish, 5-ish, 6-ish, somewhere in there ish, -ish. Yeah, no brakes. Yeah, none. Hardly. Okay, we we got a cow back here. I thought we missed a cow. Okay. I'll have to grab a rider and get back here. We're getting some cows ready to go here. Okay, anyways. My horse is completely played out. Completely played out. Little things like brake lights and lights and turning signals. Of course, we're in North Dakota, 
we don't use turning signals here. This has power steering. That is a plus. That is really a plus. Um, <clears throat> brakes. Brakes would be nice at times. I think at moments when you're uh, when you're not trying to accelerate, it would be nice to maybe maybe stop at, at times. That would be a plus on this pickup. Um, little things like that. A piece of tin, a piece of board, a gallon of gas, you got a four. Okay, so I went and picked up a few of my nephews, and uh, they're out riding. They're going to they're gonna grab this cow here, shipping calves. Anyhow, <clears throat> so I was saying, a lot of people, there's an old saying, all hat, no cows. All hat, no cows. And... And that's true. No hat, no cows. A lot of people are, and that's okay. That's fine. I understand that. But if you fancy yourself a rancher, uh, your real wealth is is in not just your cattle. You can ranch without owning land. You can land. You can um, own a ranch without owning cows. That that's a fact. But and that's not what I'm trying to say either. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, is your real investment is into the land. That's the real investment. Once your cows are paid for, you buy land. Um, and your real land, I mean, that's going up at 10% per year. Your vehicle, now that's a must. It is a must. Good. It's a must. However, <clears throat> at the end of the day, keep your real wealth focused where you're at land land vehicles are a must to own but don't let them own you um, once your land is paid for believe me new vehicles will come they will come and and that's uh, just a fact my brother picked this pickup up for a ranch pickup and he's been really trying to run these older fords and they are the best looking ford there ever was it's kind of like the cross between a, the half tons are a cross between a side by side and, uh, and, a, and a pickup, really, the half tons are. So, anyways, just thought I'd leave that with you guys. Um, I don't know if it helps or not. May the Lord guide and keep you. This is Luke Simons. Until next time, happy trails.